All right, Jimmy, thank you so much for that update. Now, the county government of Machakos has moved to enhance food security following the distribution of 130 tons of assorted certified seeds to over 144,000 beneficiaries across Machakos County, in addition to donating 254 modern beehives with honey extracting equipment. Now, the seeds were flagged off in trucks by Machakos County Governor Wavinyandeti to 86 drop off points for collection by target beneficiaries who have already been identified by what committees. Speaking at the event held outside the governor's office in Machakos, Governor Ndeti warned all involved in the distribution against diverting the seeds to non-beneficiaries. Yeah. Then you the gloves, so that uh, Atam Chana sometimes they can have it. This investment by my government is aimed at igniting an agricultural revolution that will put an end to the perennial hunger cycle which we have experienced over the years. In this recent past, the department has distributed 122 tons of assorted seeds. Today, we are giving another 110 tons and 12 tons from fowl. If our farmers will adopt the appropriate crop management practice, this investment is likely to bring a return of close to 1 billion shillings in our local agriculture and value chain. Our holistic approach to the Chakula Mezani Pesam Fukoni socio-economic transformation agenda has seen all our departments, stakeholders, and partners join forces to accelerate the execution of one of the most innovative strategies to eradicate poverty among our people. Now, a section of tour drivers in coast region led by Voy Adventures have expressed relief due to a rejuvenated tourism sector. Now, they are, however, concerned about systems delaying their clients when accessing the national parks. Hezron Kimari reports from Voy. Well, as tourism sector gets to high season, uh, tour drivers in coast region led by Voy Adventures have expressed their uh, happiness in the booming of the uh, sector, but also they have raised some concerns in relation to the sector, uh, especially areas where uh, the clients, they take too much time uh, in pain uh, in the National Park. And now we'll be getting an opportunity to hear some of the sentiments by the tour drivers here in Voy. The industry is doing very well in South East and West, and whenever we have like a fleet or something like that, we help each other. Uh, we source vehicles from one place to another, but we make sure our clients are enjoying themselves. And of course, if there's any problem, at least we are there to boost it up. But above that, uh, what we are doing currently, we have a big group uh, of almost 80 people. And I would request, especially for international clients, uh, but when they come to Mombasa, uh, they can either start in Savo, uh, we pick them, we are at the airport, they do the circuits in Savo, east and west, and then from there, now when they're done we can take them to Mombasa so it does it doesn't have to be uh, like they start in Mombasa and then they finish up here and then they go to the airport no they can start from here they finish up in Mombasa and then they come to the airport off they go we normally call them pre-book safaris so for the agents especially uh, European agents we can do that we can uh, we can work together as voy adventures uh, we see how we can work their packages out combination of the beach stay and of course at the park. When there are parks zetu, kuna Savo East, uh, Savo East National Park, na kuna Savo West National Park, alafu kuna zile same ambazo pia ni excursions za uh, cultural and historical sites, ambazo ziko milimani, kama undanyi, sagala, kasigau, kuna wale ambao wanapenda pia badding, ambao pia ni wataz, wanapenda mambo ya kuangalia hizi ndege, uh, hizo zinapatikana sana sana katika forest zetu za taita, kama ngangao, chawia, na Sagala na um, Mount Kasigao. Eh uh, hii citizen ni ingeoma kama kuna uwezekano wa kuwa kurahisisha. Maana yake mgeni anaweza kuwa yuko kwa Main Road na anajisikia tu kuingia park. Angalau atokee upande mwingine wa pili. Eh uh, ajisikie tu kuenjoy tu kwa muda kidogo lakini inakuwa ile muda ambao anapanga aingie hato ingie itamchukua hiyo time ya kuwa alikuwa aingie paka azunguke na atoke hiyo tamaa inemalizia kwa mlango. Kwa hiyo hiyo tunalusi nini eh, wageni wengi tu.
na uwezi change itinerary kwa mgeni saa hiyo hiyo pengine ameamua ametoka Tsavo West anataka kwenda Mombasa lakini anasema ah acha niingie Tsavo East nione huyo mgeni yeye kulipa kuingia hapo ndio inakuwa ni shida na ambapo ingekuwa na rehisishwa na kadi kama ya banki mtu anaweza kutumia kadi ya banki yote kurani hapo ndani na aweze kuingia kama vile kufanya shopping kwenye ma hoteli au kulipa hoteli kitu kingine ingekuwa ni rahisi hiyo kurani kadi tu mtu aingie changamoto zingine ambazo tunazipata kwenye park ni kuwa kulingana na mazingira ya livyo kwa sasa hatuwezi kurekebisha kwa sababu ni mambo ya ki, ya ki, ya kimungu lakini kuna ukosefu wa mvua kwa muda mrefu kwa sasa hivi water hole zote ambazo ziko tsavo ni kama zimekauka kwa hivyo wanyama wanapata tabu kwa upande wa kunywa maji na, macha, na chakula pia kama kungekuwa kuna njia yoyote ya, ku, ya ku, ku, kuona kama kumechimbwa visima ambavyo wanyama watakuwa na urahisi wa kupata maji kwa upande wangu naona ingekuwa ni msaada mkubwa sana Well, as you've heard from the tour drivers, they are saying indeed the sector is picking up well after the COVID-19 period. Uh, but again, they're insisting the government and other stakeholders maybe to support the sector by ensuring they address some of the grievances they have raised. Reporting for KTN News from Voy, I'm Hezron Kimari. All right, Hezron, thank you so much for that. Now, malnutrition is a major problem in Kenya.